Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer Cross and I'm here with Dixie and Bob Forsyth and we are talking about um, a lot of different things today for a feminine moment. And a question came in actually a while ago and we are just finally getting around to answering it. But it's about how do you handle a situation where you are having difficulties with your in-laws or anything about your husband's family and, and relations. And it's really interfering with your relationship with him your happiness so that, that can be a that can be really challenging um, when you ask that question the first thing that comes to my mind is uh, I have a good friend who uh, her husband grew up in a family where he was very abused physically abused by his mother okay. not so much his father his mother was very abusive and kind of mean and so she she used to beat him and stuff so when my friend uh, married him you know she really worked hard to try and help him with his self-esteem and everything well this this now her mother-in-law was really mean to her yeah. and even wrote her even wrote her a letter telling her how much she hated her and I wow I can't imagine my mother-in-law doing that I'm yeah. I, you know there's sometimes little irritations and things but she was really cruel and um so I asked her, because I said, why do you still have, I noticed you still have her over to dinner. She said, well, this is my, this is my husband's mother. This is my husband's family. I can't put him in this awkward position because he was, he was not wanting to just not have anything to do with her. This was his mother. He was still kind of hoping to find validation from her. Well, she beat him with a broom. I mean, she'd beat him. If the broom broke, she'd take the pieces, take the pieces yeah. and beat on him. And, and wow. he's, a, he's a big guy. He's like six something. Six three. Wow. Six three. He's a big guy. But, it, you know, it was really uh, harmful to him growing up. And so I, I so admired her because she said, I give her birthday and Christmas presents. I can't bring myself to hug her anymore. But she said, I have her to dinner and I go visit her. And... Um, she keeps it, she minimizes contact. That's a good point. What it is, it's about respect for the man you married. This is his family, and you owe basic respect to that. She, yeah, I think she manages the contact she has with her. Yeah. By, partly by minimizing it, and, and then if there's something specific she can do, like send a card or something, yeah. some of those things are not. Or if her husband says, we need to go visit my mother, yeah, she'll go, yeah. but she tries not to talk too much and she, she probably gets herself into a mental space too you know where this is about supporting loving appreciating respecting my husband this is not about me yeah, yeah. right no. and I, and I, she amazes me because the things she's telling me about her mother-in-law i thought oh my gosh i don't think i want anything to do with her but uh she is a is a great example but so for the the person who wrote this and there's been a couple of them that that feel mm -hmm. this way a couple questions that came in in our big group um, number one, minimize contact. Number two, we're just to focus on respect. Well, so there's another thing. Let's bring, let's bring Fascinating Womanhood more specifically into this. Yeah. Uh, part of Fascinating Womanhood is character and charm. And you can, you can notice things about your in-laws and admire them for things. People have good sides to them and find good things point. to look for, look for, Something like, oh, you have, I really like your shoes or your hair looks really nice today. Something that's specific that you can find. You, you might, who knows? You might win them over. That's beautiful. Thank you guys so much. Great advice. We'll get that up and posted on the, the website soon. You have a problem? Yeah, you can say it really helps the relationship too. Your husband appreciates. Great the, point. He knows that it's difficult. And that you're actually doing something to try to make things better, and people yeah. realize and appreciate that. Yeah, it, it can deepen your marriage. Right. Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Really good point. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Everybody, like, Thank comment, you. and share. We appreciate your time today, and take care. Have a great day. Bye bye. Bye.